Jessie next door and I'm back here with another video. Today's video will be a sheen haul of all of the clothes and packages that I've gotten during quarantine and a little before that spring break, may it rest in peace, of a bunch of cute clothes that I thought I was going to wear over time but instead I'm just going to show it to y'all, review it and then I'll include my measurements. And just for reference I am 5'7 and I weigh 140 pounds but I'll have my exact measurements down below in the description box. Um, that'll also include the links to the products and what size I decide to get it in so you guys can have a bit of an idea whether or not you want to size up or down. Also, just to include, I'm not sponsored by Sheen or Sheen, whichever one you prefer. You might hear me saying both. And I'm not sponsored. This is my real, honest, genuine opinion. Also, in the description box, there will be timestamps. So if you're looking for anything specific, all right, then that I do have a major shopping problem, this will be a two-part video. So for part one, I have a lot of stuff for you guys. From tops, bottoms, jewelry, accessories, dresses, etc., etc. We're going to get into everything. So, if y'all ready, we're just going to hop right into it. So the first item I have is this graphic tee. If y'all haven't noticed by now, I love me a good graphic tee. And I got it in a size medium. This is what it looks like. So it's not very long. Nothing on the back. And if it's really comfy, I do have a shirt under it. It's just something that you can wear on a pretty relaxed day. And also I love to tuck in my graphic tees. So this is what it looks like tucked in. Like that. So it's just really cute and simple. It's given very much so black girl magic vibes and I like it it gets a thumbs up for me all right the next item I have is another graphic tee of course and it's a really cute <laughs> turquoise blue kind of color and it says Beverly Hills on it I also got this in a size medium this shirt is really cute but it does have a bit of a weird smell to it I will note that but overall it gets a thumbs up for me this is it tucked in, and I will show you guys it untucked. Really cute and affordable. I like it. Ooh. So I have this yellow lemonade flannel The y'all know. Y'all can style a flannel any way you want. I got this in a size medium. There's a few different ways you can style it. And you can just wear it completely unbuttoned. This gets two thumbs up for me. And I would say this color, I love it. And definitely one of my favorite items I've gotten so far from this. Oh, yes. I must buy. Next, I have this long sleeve satin blue top. I got it in a size small, so it can be a little bit more fit to my body. Just to note, I do have on an undershirt with this. It's given very much wrinkled pillowcase. But, I mean, I like it personally. Nothing a little heat can't fix. It unbutton. You can show more or less chest. I mean, it's just a nice and affordable top. So, at the end of the day, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. But what do y'all think? So, next, I have this lace crop cami top. Mm, it's in the size medium. It has these, like, the strings are really thin. And then it has like these, this is his feather that looks like it might fall off and like it'll fit tight in some places and not in the other. And I mean, like, I know I can make it look cute, but all in all, I'm, just, I'm in the middle on it. Like, eh. but. Like. I feel like it wants to be lingerie, but like it's too shy to be lingerie. And at the same time, like it like wants to be tight yet not, I don't know. I changed my mind after I turned around and this shirt raised up. This is my first thumbs down. I, no, it's enough for me. Next, I have this gray tee. I mean, honestly, it's a gray tee. I try not to drag stuff out. 
it's just cute it's simple and i got this in a size medium as well so this gets a thumbs up for me like this is a medium solid tank top in white it is very see-through in the chest area so just to know i have on a strapless bra but it's cute and it fits me nicely i'd add a cute flannel or a jacket over this or just wear it as is and there's not much to say about a tank top so i mean thumbs up the next item i have is this white button down and it's just one of those basic essential wardrobe needs that anybody could use also something that can be dressed up or down. I would note that it is pretty thin paper-like material, but I like it. I got it in a size small. It was really nice and affordable and it fits really well. I'll show y'all what it looks like unbuttoned. If I can get this unbuttoned. Boom, finally unbuttoned. It gets a thumbs up for me though. Okay, so next I have this camo utility jacket. This jacket is very cute. It's just something you can throw on and it's gonna spruce up your outfit. But I'm gonna be real, this is not a jacket that's gonna keep you warm. Like, it feels like a grocery bag. But I'm, I just got it to be cute, so that doesn't matter to me. And I got it in a size medium. So me personally, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. But what do y'all think? So next I have these medium black biker shorts. And when I say these are so comfortable, they fit a little high waist. I just like throw on this cute graphic tee with it. And then boom, like we're ready to go. So I'll probably go get this in more colors. I love these. They're so cute and stretchy. So two thumbs up for me. Okay, but next I have these cute high-waisted denim shorts and as you can see by the smile on my face, this is definitely one of my favorites so far. Yes, like, ooh. I mean, they fit perfectly. I got it in a size medium. Like, come on now. And I don't have any other shorts designed like this, so I really, I like them. They're a comfortable fit. Normally I wear a size 11 in pants, well, jeans for reference, but yeah. They're like fitted, but not too tight. I can like move in them. I like the jeans, thumbs up times two. These are the paper bags high pants in the color in navy blue. As you can see, they cut down about right there. I got them in the size. I got these in a the size medium and you do have to tie them yourself but it's a really cute find for an affordable price. So it's something that you could wear a cute blouse with and be business casual. So I will give it a thumbs up. So these are the flare leggings in a size medium. And excuse my socks. So yeah, they're pretty, they flare out at the bottom, but they don't necessarily look like going out pants they kind of fit more so like yoga pants but they're really comfortable so for what they are they get a thumbs up then um flare jeans in a size medium and they are extremely long as you can see so i would probably wear a heel with it or something since they're so long I don't think that you have to get them altered or anything. They do have these slits in the middle and they're just really cute for an affordable price. I've been trying to find flare jeans for so long, so I really like these a lot. So these get two thumbs up. Definitely one of my favorite products I have so far. Okay, I think that we have a winner, a favorite. Like, let's get into this animal print. Yes, this is in a size small. Yes, this is my favorite. Yeah, I think this is my favorite product out of the whole haul. And I'll show you. It stops right there. Yes. What do y'all think? I I love it. Yes. Nothing else needs to be said. 
if y'all aren't familiar, Shein has like flash sales. So it was like three or four dollars, maybe even five. It was cheap, but my head is too big to fit through this turtleneck style top. So yeah, I can't show y'all how it looks. But I mean, thumbs down since I can't have it. So first I got these essential ball caps in black and white and in pink. Lovely. Unfortunately with my passion twist and the size of my head, I can't put those caps on for y'all right now to show you how they look. But I still like recommend buying them. They're cute for a cute loungewear set or just a on the go outfit. Thumbs up for me. Now these shades I had to, I was seeing like all the Instagram baddies with like these frames and <laughs> I was like, okay, like, boom, I need. So, come on now. It's like no matter what you're doing, when you put these shades on, you go from mm, to bad, like, come on. And these definitely like make the room go dark as well. I'm getting futuristic vibes, baddie vibes. Like personally, this is just something that's my style. I like it. It's extra, it's dramatic. Like, come on. But what do y'all think? Next, I have these black frames with like these gold accent around it. And this is what they look like. I don't know if you guys can fully see them with the lighting. Sorry about the glare. But they look really classy. And they're just cute. So yes. Also something that gets a thumbs up. I have these black cat eye style frames. And I'll show you what they look like on me. Very Instagram pick-ish. Just be mindful, like when you do look up, this is how they fit. That's why you normally see people with them hanging. Definitely not an everyday look for me though. Just something to spruce up an outfit. Next, I have these gold frames. And I feel like you really can't go wrong with a nice gold accessory. Like, come on. Whoa. When you put these on, they like make everything go dark and they look really nice, y'all. Yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. These are the one, two thumbs up, a must buy, for real. I got this green, cream, and black bag and it has like gold accents on it. I just think this is an adorable bag. I like it a lot. Green is my favorite color, by the way. And it comes with this um, detachable strap. This is what the strap looks like. So it's up to you on how you want to style it and it snaps closed. It's like, it's pretty small on the inside, but it can carry things that you might want to have in your purse, like your phone, lip gloss, keys, stuff like that. So yeah, some cute, but still useful. So I like it. Thumbs up for me. Yes, y'all. This one, the colors on this one, like won my heart over, so I had to get it. So we have like this goldish yellow bag with cream, more gold accents. I love gold accents. And then blue around the rim. And then it snaps open and closed. Also, it's pretty small on the inside, but it's not really a bag designed to carry a lot of stuff. They can carry your everyday needs. And it comes with this gold chain that um, attaches to it. I can't wait to style this bag and I think it'll be really fun to wear. I got this brown, black, and nude bag. That's what it looks like. And it comes with this strap that goes onto it to make sure it's secure and i'll show you the inside of it 
also pretty small, but I like the crossbody, small, simple, straight to the point bag. It's affordable and it looks really classy and expensive without spending a lot of money. So I definitely recommend this one. This one also gets a thumbs up for me. So let me know what y'all think down below. So this is a cream bag. I don't really have any cream or white bags. And it also has gold accents, of course. And it's one of those bags that like snaps open and close like that. You twist it. And it also comes with a gold chain. It's attached to it so you'll be able to carry it around and secure it. I am not sure how I'm gonna style this bag just yet. It's definitely light but excessive, so. Thumbs up for me, girl. Okay, so this piece of jewelry broke my heart. It was supposed to be a cross necklace, but as you can see, it came apart. I was actually gonna wear this necklace with one of my outfits, just to like go ahead and top it off with a gold accessory. And it actually came apart before I can even make it out of my house. And it's not something that you can put back together. So this gets a definite thumbs down from me. This is a simple gold sun style necklace. I just love a simple necklace. It's something you can just add to your outfit and go. So of course, thumbs up. So I have this lock and key style necklace. It's a layered necklace. So this key and this chain part, as you can see, that's separate. And this right here, the lock is its own necklace. So you can choose to wear it together or separate. Personally, I'm loving the together look. I love a good layered necklace and this is two thumbs up. This is one of those layered necklaces. They're all gold. It's four separate pieces. So this is its own piece and so are these three. So you can either wear it together as like this whole set or wear it separately. I'm actually a bit intrigued to wear it separate just because it's kind of difficult to get these all lined up perfectly. And the whole like worrying about them tangling and everything, it sounds like a bit of a hassle. So hmm. I guess that just all comes down to personal preference. However, I do like these necklaces. I think they're cute and they get a thumbs up. So this is a one piece necklace, but it's layered. So these can't be detached. So this one is like a heart shape and the heart is upside down. Oh, there we go. And this one is like a choker. And it's really cute and it's not hard to get lined up. So thumbs up. This is just a regular silver pendant necklace. And I love it. I love throwing on a necklace like this. It's easy to accessorize with a nice bracelet or a watch and make your outfit just look nice. So, of course, this one has got to get a thumbs up. These are all gold ankle bracelets. So you can choose to wear them either together or separate. But this isn't my first time getting an ankle bracelet from Shein. And the first one I had got a lot of compliments, so I decided to come back and get more. Okay, so I also decided to get silver ankle bracelets because you can't go wrong with a gold accessory and a silver one. And these are like beach themed ankle bracelets. So this one has like this nice, look at it. Wow, I like that. And you can see all the cute symbols on them. So yes, you really can't like beat the price that I got them for. These ankle bracelets get a thumbs up. I got two different sets of gold rings and they're like a one size fits all type of situation. So when you get them, it's kind of up to you how you want to style them. As you can see, I haven't opened these yet and I haven't worn them, but they're really cute. They really like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and give these a thumbs up. All right, y'all, that's all I have for y'all today. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below in the comment section and let me know what your favorite item from the haul is. Stay tuned for part two. All right, neighbors, your girl, Jesse Next Door is out. I hope to see y'all around the block.